Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free Exchange of Ideas. Uh, today I'm in my car. I'm out on surveillance, so I'm a little buttoned up here. A little bit of light behind me and uh, some light right in front of me. So, <clears throat> I'm only going to say this once. I'm only going to say it for a very short period of time. You don't need to hear a lot of rhetoric, I don't think. I believe that after October 7, Israel had every right to decimate Gaza because Gazans support Hamas. Now, Hamas, which I and I and I don't understand their support because Hamas has used them as human shields and killed them that way. I mean, that's my opinion. If you use a human shield and that human shield dies, you're just as um, responsible as the person who or the individuals who killed your human shield. Now, Hamas uses the entire bit of, of, of Hamas. I mean, I apologize. Hamas uses the entirety of Gaza as human shields. They've proven this over and over again. Uh, and they've built tunnels. They've used public buildings like hospitals and uh Radio, television, radio stations, that whole thing, where they've dug up from underneath. And now they're in there, they're infiltrated, and uh, you can't spot them. So, if I were Israel, if I were Netanyahu, I would tell the United States to go pound sand, take all your money, we don't fucking care, because we can build shit just as easily right now. We're in, we're in good shape. Thanks. See ya. Um... Uh, the the newest thing that just came out is that they're going they're offering peace. Israel is offering peace if Palestine just gives back. Uh, I'm sorry, not Palestine. If uh, Hamas just gives back forty of the over hundred and fifty uh, hostages that they still have, I would tell Hamas, you give them all back. You have twenty four hours. Once that twenty four hour period is up. We're going to turn the entire country into a glass parking lot. Oh yeah, and we have the borders locked off, so you're not going anywhere either. And by and by locked off, I mean they have ground penetrating radar, so they know if anything is moving underneath them, and they'll decimate those those tunnels. Does that sound a little harsh? Yeah, you think so? I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. There's twelve people next door to you. You have a kind of a piece. There's some go back and forth, but for the most part, their dogs stay on their side of the yard, your dogs stay on your side of the yard. And then, all of a sudden, kind of out of the blue, you see this kite come over from your neighbor's house. And it drops a bomb on your house. And it kills two of your children. Just two. You go over to the house and you say, hey, look, this is what has occurred. I saw the kite come from your house. Uh, so we're just going to call the police and sue. Uh, have you arrested? Well, now, wait. We didn't have anything to do with that. It was two of the guys that live in the back bedroom. Bring them out. Bring them out for the police. Well, I don't know where they are right now. So they're not here right now is what you're saying? What do they drive? How can we find them? Where do they work? Oh, I, I, I don't know any of that. You don't know what they drive, but they live here. Use your garage or park on the street in front of the residence, like everybody else, but you don't know who they are. No, no, I don't, I don't know anything. Okay. When those two get back, we'll, just, we'll call the police then. Come to find out, there's a tunnel under that bedroom. They can get in and out anytime they want without being seen. We find these tunnels. And we collapse the two tunnels we find. One goes front, one goes back. We collapse those. Okay, now you can't get out or back in if you're out through those tunnels. And then they come out and they've got the they've got three of those people, other people that live in that house, and they're holding them like hostages. Uh, I'm pretty good with a gun. I might be willing to take that shot, even if it takes out the hostage. Because as I said in the beginning, 
if you're using a human shield and that human shield gets killed, no matter how he, that human shield gets killed, you are also responsible. Full stop, period. You are also responsible. Now, when you go and you take 240 plus people and you kill some of them, behead them while on site, babies beheaded, women raped, men raped, your sick individual, well, individuals, because there was multiples of them, you're sick individuals. You don't deserve to share the same oxygen that I use. You don't deserve to remain on this planet because you are dangerous. You don't deserve to be unjailed because you're a permanent danger. And I say that because they are taught from kindergarten, maybe younger, that Zionists are uh, invaders and they deserve to die. Period. They've been talking genocide for generations. And now these fucking idiots at, at universities want to say, oh, Israel's uh, doing a genocide. No, they're not. There's a whole nother Palestine there. Gazans are Palestinians. Tell me I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong. Because honestly, if I was Netanyahu, Gaza wouldn't exist anymore. And I'd make sure that that border was locked off. There's no way to get in or out. Meaning I would build walls that go 30 feet deep. It's really difficult to dig further than 30 feet deep. No more tunnels. No more in and out. And then I deal with Hezbollah the same way. If you have any of our people, let them go now. You have 24 hours. Thanks. Have a great day. Even fluffy bunnies have teeth and claws for a reason. Israel has big teeth and claws, not necessarily from the United States. Thanks very much. See ya.